So this is one of her native iris. This is uh, probably iris versicolor. Wild blue flag, wild blue iris. Uh, this one we're propagating here, as you can see, in our nursery. So these are going to be going into a wetland. This is a wetland species. It's a wetland obligate, meaning that usually it's found growing in the water, but it, as you can see, it can grow as long as it's watered very well. Here are a bunch more that are about to be in bloom. Uh, this plant can not to be confused with the uh, not to be confused with the yellow flag, which is much taller, and uh, unfortunately has come in as an as an invasive that uh, that overpowers this one. But a beautiful plant. Um, it's usually self-protected. Much of the plant is, is toxic to much wildlife, so that protects it. It's got the very long leaves. Sometimes people confuse it for cattails, but you can see they're actually flat along the side of the plant itself. And again, each one of these will then bloom, the, the, uh, just lighting up the wetlands where these things grow. So a wild iris, and most of us are, are used to garden irises. This is the same thing, except this is a wetland native one that has been introduced actually into many other countries, especially Europe wild blue flag or wild blue flag iris, one of her native wetland obligates.